Hey guys, in this tutorial I will show you how to edit some cinematics. So yeah, the first thing you should always do is get rid of the buttons. If you recorded the cinematic in um, yeah in spectator mode on Xbox or PS3, um, yeah, but that should be really basic. Um, so when you have your cinematic, um, it always looks good when you add some. Uh, like random movement to the cinematic because then it looks more realistic because when you move a camera in real life it's always a bit shaky and stuff so to do that um, select the layer press P for position and alt click on this little stopwatch then type in wiggle uh, break that and then maybe yeah the first thing so you Basically, you type in one number, then comma, and then another number. So the first number is um, yeah for how many times a second the amount changes, and the second amount is um, like in which amount it changes. If you type in fifteen, it changes the amount between uh, zero and fifteen like randomly. So I'll put one, and then fifteen. So the cinematic will move, um, yeah, like 15 pic uh, pixels per second, randomly. So, yeah. The other thing you can add is the rotation. Just click R for the rotation, um, and or click on the stopwatch again. Then type in the wiggle, break that, and then one comma three. That means it will spin. Uh, Three degrees, uh, one yeah, per second. So yeah, but as you can see, there is some are uh, some black bars. So you could either um, uh, scale it up so that you can get rid of that. Or you could leave it like that and go to the effects and presets and type in motion tile. So, then go to um, output width, change that to 150, and output height to 150, and then check mirror edges. And by the way, this effect is um, like my friend NeoP found this, and yeah, the credit goes to him. Um, so, then you should add. Um, yeah, enable motion blur for your cinematic uh, for the composition and then go to the layer and if you then press F4 and then on this little three circles thing you enable that so um, <coughs> let me just preview this for you so that looks quite good and by the way, if this, um, like on this spot over here, there's a little bit pixel distortion. If you want to get rid of that, you could always scale it up a bit. Um, or you could just change the amount and make it a bit less. So, now that's perfect. So <coughs> another thing uh, you can do can do is um, you can an animate this wiggle thing um, the effect by <coughs> uh, going to slider control slider control and add that to your cinematic. Then go to your rotation and or click on the uh, yeah no you don't have to do that. Then you see this um, pick whip here. That's this circle thing. You drag that and put it on the slider of slider control. So now you can keyframe that. Now it's at zero, and this will um, this number you have here is like is the uh, second expression, like the amount. So yeah, first of all you can make it zero, keyframe it, or let's say one, and then here you can make it 
maybe four. So at the beginning it's at one and then it will go to four. And then you can make it like two again or something. Like whatever you want to. Um but I won't do that here. I will just go we go one point three. Okay. Um so um yeah if you that's basically it you can check out the particles tutorials i made um just watch these that these make they that your cinematic look even better and i will make another tutorial for a cinematic uh color correction so please like the video and bye